What is empathetic space? Hi, I'm Ruth Kudzi and I'm passionate about helping people live the life that they want to live on their terms. I talk about coaching, positive psychology, neuroscience and business growth because if you want to live a fulfilling life then you want to be going from a zero to a plus five in positive psychology rather than focusing on bringing you up to a zero. So as a coach we support our clients with empathy not sympathy and we don't get involved in their narrative as a player. We are interested in their story to support them to get clarity, evoke awareness and decide what they want to do next. We also are thinking partners that support them to look at things differently. So when I'm talking about empathy, it is that ability to put ourselves in somebody else's shoes. So what we're not doing is saying, oh, poor you. What we are doing is appreciating what they're going through and what they're experiencing. And this is without judgment, because often we might have coaches coming to us who are talking about relationships. So it might be a relationship at work, it might be a relationship with somebody else. Now, of course, we're only seeing it from their perspective. So we're not there to make a judgment about the other person in the relationship. What we're there to do is to support our clients and validate the way that they feel and they think and help them to potentially see things differently, maybe have that empathy to see things from somebody else's perspective, or to decide what they want to do as a result of this feeling. So it might be that somebody is in a very, very challenging relationship, and our role, you know, therefore, the way that we're supporting our client may be that the client is making a decision to leave that situation. Now again, what we need to make sure is that we're not we're not colluding with our client. So we are enabling our client to make that decision. It is their decision, not our decision. And again, we are not in that relationship. So there is this time that I can sometimes see coaches potentially colluding with the client where we're getting really involved in the narrative and we're becoming that, okay, that person is bad. That isn't our job. Our job is to allow our clients to have that space to process their emotions and their thoughts so they can decide what they want to do. And it might be that they decide that person is bad or it might be they decide that they, you know, that they want to stay in that relationship. Now, as long as we are sure that they are not in any harm, you know, if we are thinking that they might be harmed, or they may have children that might be harmed, that's obviously a very different narrative. But for most people, relationships at work, relationships you know, at home, it's about having that sounding board and space that is being held in a way that is empathetic so that we're able to show that we can see that perspective of the client without us judging without us saying, oh, we think you should do that. Or if they say, okay, I'm gonna do this, oh, well, that's a good idea. Because actually, it is very, very rare that we have that space where we're able to go, this is what I want to do. I've explored what I'm thinking, I've explored what I'm feeling, and this is my way forward. And that is what coaching does. So this isn't about us getting trapped in that narrative. It isn't about us colluding with our clients. So we are saying, oh yes, your boss sounds awful. Or yeah, okay, it sounds like you're having an awful experience. You know? We're not about labeling people. We're about supporting our clients. So of course we might say, it sounds like this is really hard for you. It sounds like you're having an awful experience. We won't say, Oh, it sounds like your boss is a bully. I agree your boss is a bully. I agree because that isn't our place. We're not there to agree. We're there to validate. 
you know, and we're there to give them that space to validate what they're feeling and allow themselves to actually say, I'm finding it really hard or it feels like this and explore that with them so they can decide what to do. So we don't get into the poor you. Oh, this sounds awful. You've been through a really hard time. It sounds like there's a lot there. How are you doing? What do you need? Where can you go to for support? What, would you, what do you want to do next? We're allowing our clients, we're believing our clients are resourceful and that they can make that decision. We're doing it adult to adult. We don't need to rescue our client. And that can be really difficult, especially if we're seeing a client in a situation that maybe we've been in. We can think, oh my gosh, I can help you. You're not okay, I'm okay, I can help you. But actually our clients are okay. They're resourceful. They, they can take action and make decisions. So we give them this, the gift of empathy. We give them the gift of compassion. We hear them. We listen to them. We allow them that time and space to really get clear on what is going on and to decide what they want to do as a result. And that is really what empath empathic space is. And it's such a beautiful space to be in. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd like you to like and subscribe. And remember to keep abreast of all of our new videos. Just ring that bell and you'll be notified when any new ones come out. And we'd love to hear feedback from you. So if you'd like to post beneath your biggest takeaway and equally anything that you'd like to hear me talk about, we're always open to feedback.